Okay, so those boards are all glued up now guys and the next step is what we're going to do is we need to cut and uh, those panels down so there's a five degree taper in each board so that the finished box will look like that not this one square box Okay, now that we've got all the bevels on the, the edges of this, mm. of these woods, but it's time to clamp these up now. So I'm enlisting the help of my little helper here. This is Tristan Hi. and this is Ethan. Say hello, guys. Okay, so I need Tristan's help just to help me hold these in place. And we're going to glue these together. We're going to leave them overnight. And then tomorrow we're going to put some dowels in them just to reinforce. So we're going to crack on now. Should we do some gluing? Mm. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, jump down. I'm going to make some little feet for the corners, I think. I'm just going to do a little half moon sh shape at the bottom. I need the drill press for that. Okay, so that's our base done, uh, drilled all the holes. I'm just going to drop it down inside the planter now. And to do that, I'm just going to use a couple of screws like this. Push them through those holes. You can pinch that and then lift the whole thing in as one. And get it down somewhere near level. Remember, it doesn't have to be perfectly level. You're not going to see it, and it's going to be filled with soil. And then just lift it up, get those screws out. down into place. Now I'm going to reinforce these sides for this joint here which isn't very strong with some dowels. What I'm going to do first of all is we're going to drill a series of pilot holes 
where I've marked and then I'm going to drill it with the proper size hole and this pilot hole will just stop that drill bit from wandering Okay, so that's all the dowels done, so that's that reinforced now. That will be nice and sturdy forever. So, the last thing to do now is to finish this. Now, I asked the uh, the boss if she wanted it painted, which was originally going to give it a garden green colour, uh, but she's asked me to keep it natural. So, onto the varnish. So, I'm using this Translac exterior varnish. Um, I've used this before, it's, it makes everything go a little bit orange, so you get like a, a warm glow to it. 